All right, guys, I'm going to be taking you through a joint mobility warm up. So the purpose of this warm up, it's it's not really going to improve your flexibility that all that much. It kind of just focuses on getting your joints and your muscles prepped for the pain to come uh, and to prevent injury. If you want to get more into flexibility stuff, there's other routines for that. Uh, but we're going to st stick to the joint mobility for now. So I do everything in eights just to keep it simple. So everything we're going to go through is going to be in eights. So we're going to start off with uh, shoulder circles. So you're going to start really narrow and you're just going to do eight of them. Then you're going to get wider. Again, seven, eight, and then big as you can. Six, seven, eight, and then you're going to reverse the direction. Bigger. And then biggest. And you're going to roll your shoulders forward. Again for eight times. And then the other way for eight times. Retract them. Get the other angle for that. And then we're going to go into our elbows. So we're just going to swing them out. Get the synovial fluid prepped in those joints. Ready for lifting. Other way. And then we'll get into your wrists. So you just start like this and then you roll out and then you roll back out. Roll in, roll back out. Roll in, roll back out. And then I'll get into some lower back. So you're just gonna kinda bend your knees a little bit and you're gonna do a little half circle to the front. And that's gonna kinda warm up your lower back and your hips from the side. And then I do the other way. I kinda roll my hips out. So it's just gonna be kinda rolling your hips out. from the side. From there I'll get into my knees. So you're going to start with just little circles and you're going to balance yourself. And then you're going to do eight little ones. Wider for eight. You're just rolling your knee here, you're not doing your ankle. And then you're going to get the widest you can go. And we're going to switch directions. And again. You lose your balance, just dip yourself back up. Switch feet. Little circles. Bigger. Biggest. Then the other direction. Bigger. And biggest. Then we're gonna do a little bit of a upper body and lower body together movement. You're just gonna squat down, put your hands out, walk yourself out, do a push up, walk yourself back up. Squat down, push up. Again, we're gonna do this eight times. Last one. And that's it. So just a short little warm up, get you ready for the bells to come. Next exercise we're gonna be doing is the one hand swing. 
which is almost identical to the regular swing. Pretty much the only thing that should be harder is the grip, but it is a trickier exercise. So just like the swing, we're gonna approach the bell. It's gonna be in the middle of your feet. You're gonna have a neutral head. You're gonna uh, tighten up your shoulders and retract your scapula. Your chest is gonna be out. You're gonna squat down to pick it up. One hand, start with it just like that. Get a little bit of momentum and go. So breathing in as you come down, breathing out as you go up, squeezing your butt, locking out your knees and creating that thrusting motion. You're gonna to have to generate more power from, the, from your lower body when doing the one hand, one hand swing. You're gonna inhale, exhale, thrust, squeeze your butt, lock your knees. Okay, I'll put it down. So again, from the side angle, Lindsay's gonna approach the bell. It's gonna be between her feet. Feet shoulder, slightly wider than the shoulder width apart. She's gonna have a neutral head, retract her scapula, chest out. She's gonna squat down, pick that bell up. She's just gonna stand up with it. She's gonna squat a little bit to get some, some power generated. And then she's gonna drive. So again, breathing in as you come down, breathing out as you go up. You're gonna be squeezing your butt and locking your knees. That's where that power generation is coming from, to get that bell all the way up. You're not gonna be leaning back, you're gonna stop when you hit uh, uh, 90 degrees, and that's the one hand swing. You can pop that down. Next movement we're gonna be learning is called the bottoms up press. Again, this is a active recovery exercise typically or to warm up your shoulders before workout. Uh, so we're gonna go through that right now. Lindsay's gonna approach the bell. Neutral head, shoulders tucked back, just like when we squat, same setup every time we pick up a bell off the ground. She's gonna pick the bell up a little bit differently this time though. She's gonna put her hands on the bell with her fingers in this manner. This is gonna help keep the bell upright. She's gonna squat it up. Keep it close and tight to her chest. She's gonna press it above her head. Now when she presses, she's gonna lock out her elbows and she's gonna have a body alignment. So all the way from her hand down to her feet are gonna be straight. And then she's gonna bring it down, breathe in, close to the body. She's gonna press it out, breathe out, lock that out. It's gonna be again, straight, neutral. You wanna try and get that shoulders back. A lot of people with shoulder mobility can come down are gonna have issues locking that out, that's okay. As you practice these more, you're gonna get better and better at that. So let's do a couple from the side. So again, press it out. See how she's locked out her elbows. She's keeping this upright. And again, it's straight right down to the foot. And you're keeping it tight into your chest when you're resting. That's where it rests in your body. And then you're just pressing it straight above your head, breathing out and then inhaling as you come back down and put it down. Hey guys, we're here for our third workout. We're gonna be working on the one hand swing and the bottoms up press that we learned. So with that, we're gonna use our timer and uh, get started. So starting with your weaker arm uh, for the one hand swing, go ahead. So a lot of similarities between the one hand swing and the two hand swing. Pretty much everything should be the same except for your grip's gonna wear out a bit quicker. Uh, but you're really gonna have to focus on locking those hips, uh, locking those knees, driving through and thrusting and squeezing your butt. And then with that, we're going to transition into the bottoms up press. So again, Lindsay's got her fingers set up that way. And just gotta make sure you have the proper head clearance. And keeping it tight to the body. Getting that alignment. Your arms are completely locked out. Having that whole alignment with your body. And this is a active recovery exercise. So you don't want to be really pushing yourself on these. You can really tempo the reps. You don't have to try and keep up with Lindsay. You just do what you can do. And we're gonna transition. We're gonna show you a side demonstration of the one hand swing. 
We're gonna switch to our stronger arm now. And we're gonna start. So we're gonna inhale on the way down, exhale on the way up. And you're gonna keep that throughout your whole workout. It's really important to try and keep that up even when you're getting exhausted. Uh, proper breathing really helps with technique and helps you from passing out and hurting yourself. Uh, so again, Lindsay's uh, generating all that force to move that bell from her lower body. And now we're gonna transition for a side view of the bottoms up press. So again, having that clearance room when we're driving up. Making sure to get that full shoulder mobility. Making sure to lock out those elbows. And again, this is just an active recovery, so you don't have to push yourself very much. You can just kind of catch your breath and get ready for the next round. And that's it. Go ahead. So a lot of similarities between the one hand swing and the two hand swing. Pretty much everything should be the same except for your grip's gonna wear out a bit quicker. Uh, but you're really gonna have to focus on locking those hips, uh, locking those knees, driving through and thrusting and squeezing your butt. And then with that we're going to Transition into the bottoms up press. So again, Lindsay's got her fingers set up that way. And just gotta make sure you have the proper head clearance. And keeping it tight to the body. Getting that alignment. Your arms are completely locked out. Having that whole alignment with your body. And this is a active recovery exercise. So you don't want to be really pushing yourself on these. You can really tempo the reps. You don't have to try and keep up with Lindsay. You just do what you can do. And we're gonna transition. We're gonna show you a side demonstration of the one hand swing. We're gonna switch to our stronger arm now. And we're gonna start. So we're gonna inhale on the way down, exhale on the way up. And you're gonna keep that throughout your whole workout. It's really important to try and keep that up even when you're getting exhausted. Uh, proper breathing really helps with technique and helps you from passing out and hurting yourself. Uh, so again, Lindsay's uh, generating all that force to move that bell from her lower body. And now we're going to transition for a side view of the bottoms up press. So again, having that clearance room when we're driving up. Making sure to get that full shoulder mobility. Making sure to lock out those elbows. And again, this is just an active recovery, so you don't have to push yourself very much. You can just kind of catch your breath and get ready for the next round. And that's it.
go ahead. So a lot of similarities between the one hand swing and the two hand swing. Pretty much everything should be the same except for your grip's going to wear out a bit quicker. Uh, but you're really going to have to focus on locking those hips, uh, locking those knees, driving through and thrusting and squeezing your butt. And then with that we're going to transition into the bottoms up press. So again, Lindsay's got her fingers set up that way. And just got to make sure you have the proper head clearance and keeping it tight to the body. Getting that alignment, your arms are completely locked out. Having that whole alignment with your body. This is a active recovery exercise. So you don't want to be really pushing yourself on these. You can really tempo the reps. You don't have to try and keep up with Lindsay. You just do what you can do. And we're going to transition. We're going to show you a side demonstration of the one hand swing. We're going to switch to our stronger arm now. And we're going to start. So we're going to inhale on the way down, exhale on the way up. And you're going to keep that throughout your whole workout. It's really important to try and keep that up even when you're getting exhausted. Uh, proper breathing really helps with technique and helps you from passing out and hurting yourself. Uh, so again, Lindsay's uh, generating all that force to move that bell from her lower body. And now we're going to transition for a side view of the bottoms up press. So again, having that clearance room when we're driving up. Making sure to get that full shoulder mobility. Making sure to lock out those elbows. And again, this is just an active recovery, so you don't have to push yourself very much. You can just kind of catch your breath and get ready for the next round. And that's it.